sustainability in a sense um, is one aspect of thinking of the world, of the world as your family. Sustainability has of course become one of these concepts that I think we all can agree on. But while we should be all wary of buzzwords, sustainability, if approached as a holistic concept, remains meaningful to me and important, and that is at the heart of our concerns here at the School of Public Policy at CPU. <coughs> More than a few believe today that non-democratic regimes may indeed be better placed to decisively deal with these crises. And so developing concepts for effective, legitimate and sustainable governance in a global age is therefore also vital to the sustainability of democracy itself. Only 18% of Indian GDP now is agriculture. In much of Indian newspapers keep talking about how the services sector is booming and is now more than 50% of the Indian economy. What that doesn't explain is even today, more than half our population is still reliant on agriculture as a means of livelihood. Investments would be very large in any case, even if Indian population just grows, prosperity grows, you know, you would need to invest in energy. A slight difference is where these investments, of course, would go. And one difference is, and once again, here Tiana made a very big contribution, is that we should invest much more on the demand side of energy than on the supply side, as usual. Instead of building more and more of these power plants, we should probably conserve more energy. You need financial prosperity as well as social prosperity. I think they go together. You also need a strong business model. You also need to be able to make money. Unless you make money, you can't do these other approaches. So I think they go together. Why I admired this uh, specific case study is, well, for us a case study, for you it's life, and for, for your 15,000 families it's a delight. But that's exactly why we need to know much more about this and why like you yourself, you went to that farmer. And I think we academicians should get out of our department chairs and go out and talk to people like you, yourself and learn more about innovation in business models and how we can try to, together with the business school and school of public policy, how we can make this revolution happen. Because I believe that's what we need, a revolution in the energy business model in order to create a sustainable energy world. Thank you very much.